Oh, I muted myself from the stream earlier today. I forgot to unmute until now. Hi, guys! Welcome back to another part of Genshin Impact. Just wanted to make sure everything's good. Everything looks to be in good order. Ugh, so, I don't remember what I did last time. <laughs> I really don't remember what I did last time. Oh, now I, do, now I remember. Child, that sack of garbage. Child demolished me and my team. Oh, man. Oh, man, it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while until I can, like, you know, get in there. Wah. Wah. Tired. I don't look tired. <sighs> I'm tired. I really want to take a nap, but I can't. Because after this video, I'm going to be hanging out with Jay Cardi. Catching up with them. Oh, yeah. And that's why you can do it. Yeah, downloading resources. Oh my god, we are four-fifths right there. 80%. Make it. Oh yeah, one of my good friends told me that Scissor 7, they've released like season four of Scissor 7. And I'm like, oh. and apparently all of the episodes for this season are out. And I'm like, oh, I need to watch it. I want to watch it. I need to watch it. I really, I binged the first three seasons of Scissor 7. I heard that there was going to be a Scissor 7 movie. I know it's a Chinese, it's a Chinese cartoon. But man, it's a good one. I'm just gonna say, Chinese, cause I've seen like a Chinese movie and stuff like that. Man, Chinese cartoons and movies, they hit different. They hit different. I feel like it has more, more in depth, like Korean manhwas or like in Chinese manhwas. Like, oh my God, they go, they go hard. They go hard. What the fudge? This is a new thing? Okay, alright. Alright, I already just jumped in and there is new things. Okay, let me just grab two bird eggs and uh, I guess we will... Forget child for now, and we will head to the Wang Shu Inn. Huh, I guess you could say I'm a Shu Inn. Boom, 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 boom. Anyway. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, is it a commission quest or is it? Let's see. Heart of Glaze, whatever. No, it's not that one. What is it? Is it a commission quest? Something tells me it is. Guest from afar. What a colossal nuisance. What's wrong? Oh, is that one of our guests? My apologies. Things have been awfully unusual around here lately. Our guests keep getting attacked by monsters nearby. Naturally, many are now less inclined to stay here. If this pattern continues, things will eventually escalate out of control. Judging by your attire, you are a traveler, correct? Would you mind taking care of this on the inn's behalf? Bro, Vera, we literally talked. We talked in an Archon quest. Okay. Thank you. You're very kind. So it's better that you deal with this instead. I will be sure to arrange adequate compensation. Uh, uh, okay. Guess from afar. Go and check the suspicious location. Over there? Okay. <laughs> I want to activate that thing, um, but I have no idea. Oh, is this where the joint event's going to be held? Is... Like, I know I have to be here at the Wangshu Inn, but like... What I need to do, Paimon, I, I, I didn't see an objective marker where to go. Also, there's stuff there. There's stuff. There's a pat. 
There's a puzzle over there. I know there is. Dun 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 Snapdragon. Dun 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 Oh wait, will I get hit but copyright if I hum the song? Ooh, is that a is that a luxurious chest? Ah, oh, I guess I have to like defeat. Okay. Wah. Wah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, fine. I'll do this. Oh, I missed. There we go. Overload. Hey, baby, swirl. All right. Swirl! <laughs> Yay! Pop. Ah, no! I got hit with melt. Okay, and ow! Wah! Oh, wow. <laughs> Did not even live to see the day. Can I just, like... Oh. Wah. Okay. Disappear. Elemental burst! That's the wrong area, but hey, it took out one of them. Huh. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm getting stuff, and I'm gonna get that luxurious chest over there. Come to Papi. Come to Tai Tai. Tai Tai. Or however you pronounce it in Tagalog. Because apparently I'm, like, I'm the whitest Filipino in my family. Can't pronounce the Gala worth anything. <laughs> okay, so I got a precious chest, I think. Okay, so commission quest. Guess we'll be doing that, and then, uh, oh, over here. Oh, to trigger it. I guess I'm doing waves. Defeat all opponents. I hate that notification. I hate that notification. Where it's like, oh, there's reinforcements coming. I hate that. You are sure you want to do that. Ow! Okay, alright, 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 okay, alright. Cool. I will need to inflict burning on you. And... Swirl! Okay. Oh, snap. Uh, <laughs> the miniaturals... Oh, Jesus! The miniature shield broke. Okay, fine. Swirl! What? A dendro slime? Electro! Swirl. You just like. Alright, and. Elemental burst! Yeah. Is there, a, is there another wave? Did I do it? Report back. Oh, cool! Nice! Okay. We did it, guys. We finished the commission quest. I do not want to have to deal with this. So we're going here. <laughs> I do not want to have to deal with the notification. That notification sign, I don't like it. <laughs> like, I hate that noise. <laughs> I don't like that noise. It's not fun. Is it done? Yes. Wonderful. Well, that's a load off my mind. Business as usual once again. Here, your compensation. As agreed. Hmm? Oh, the young gentleman. I would have thought you'd seen him around. Perhaps you've noticed him resting on the roof of the inn? He does that occasionally. But if you do notice him, try not to disturb him. He prefers to be left alone. Yay! Commission complete. Ten primo gems, baby. Okay. No, I want to know. What is going on? Congenial gathering. Yes. Okay, so it's up there. It's on the tippy top. Mm -hmm. On the tippy tip top. Tippy tip top tip top. Tip top top tip top tip tip top tip. Hu Tao. <laughs> Looks like you're having fun. What's the occasion this time? Oh, do I spy a traveler and a Paimon? We were just talking about you. This is more serendipitous than finding Mora after face planting on the road. <laughs> Hello, you two. What are the odds? Hu Tao. Fragrance and thought. Li Wei's Wangxing Funeral Parlor is a very old name in the funerary business, and its directorship is now up to its 77th generation. With the current director being a young lady named Hu Tao, this young director is known for her sharp intellect, but in some people's eyes, Hu Tao might be a little too smart for her own good. Indeed! 
The quirky and eccentric Hu Tao is not what people expect from a solemn title like that of Wang Xin Funeral Parlor's director. Yeah. However, Hu Tao has a unique outlook on life and death, and though she is surrounded by death every day, her optimistic outlook has never changed. Quite an odd duck, this one. It's been too long. I'll bet you have some thrilling new tales from your journey to fill me in on. I can see it in your eyes. Oh my god, that is not the- that is not- is that- that can't be Venti's voice actress. That can't be. That sounds so different from the Venti I know. The, uh, the voice actress I know that voices Venti. Uh, never a dull moment on this Tabat trip. Excellent! <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Uh, okay, if this is not the original voice actress for Venti, I'm just gonna say, this voice actress does a good job. <laughs> I hope it's delicious. <laughs> we were talking about one certain traveler and how two's company, but three's a crowd, as the inseparable duo tore around to that, making four friends here and five more there, often at sixes and sevens as they brave the lakes and seas, collecting pieces of eight and countless other treasures. <laughs> They clearly must have nine lives. Wait, wait. Let's hope they have less than ten deaths. What the? It just gets worse and worse. That was a freaking riddle, wasn't it? Shortly, you may attend the grand banquet at Stone Gate. All will be dressed to the nines for majestic food and fine wines. And after eight long drinks and seven shorts, they'll each write six lines five times. You've been to all four corners of the world. So in three short seconds, can you guess from these two stanzas of one speech each what this event is about? A poetry festival. Correct. It's a poetry gala, and Mondstadt and Liu are hosting it together. Do you still remember the promise I made to the distinguished director who here during the lantern rite? Oh, something about writing poetry together? That's right. At the dinner table that night, I just knew this young bard was a rare talent. Oh. Exceptional talent. Oh. <laughs> Rare to encounter such a kindred oh, spirit. Oh, you have no idea who tell. <laughs> now, I finally seized the chance to collaborate. Oh, I love I her eyes. I took a much trekking across the land to petition Eugene Terrace and contact the Knights of Favonius, but eventually, in the spirit of friendship and poetry sharing, I managed to successfully organize the neighboring nation's congenial poetry gala. That is a mouthful. A bit of a weird name. Lewis poetry is <laughs> far and wide, and Mondstadt is the city of wine and song. With two nations teaming up, it'll be double the fun, and a great chance for people from both places to get to know one another. Hu Tao and I will be the co-hosts for this poetry gala. Of course, I haven't studied the various forms and formalities of Liu poetry for very long, so please forgive my dreadful performance just now. Not at all, Venti. You followed my lead most excellently. Zhang Li, I need you. <laughs> you flatter me. Mm. Well, this sounds like fun. Let's get involved. The fudge? <laughs> Forsooth, I am wont to dabble in verse. Oh, Paimon, sure you'll be amazing. Remember that time in Liyue when Paimon gave you the first half of a couplet? Wind rises, winds never churn. You came up with the second half right away. But the sea of clouds, clouds away is return. Oh, Always looks return. Like someone's got a knack for this. Perhaps we'll have to raise the difficulty a little. Who tell? What the fudge? Don't. All right. So basically, you guys are here to discuss the activities for the poetry gala, right? Oh, looks like little Paimon's brain has gained a wrinkle or two. You guessed it so effortlessly, but you still guessed it wrong. That was super sarcastic. Paimon got smacked. Smack down! Huh? Wait, Paimon guessed wrong? Huh? We came here hoping to invite a special guest. I already told you, I'm not going. Oh, Xiao! Xiao, you're here too! Never having penned a verse myself, how could I hope to judge the poetry of others? Besides, afflicted with karma as I am, the raucous atmosphere you are cultivating is precisely the kind which I must avoid, as you well know. Hey now! There's a first time for everything, right? We all start from Itsy Bitsy Spider, but give it a shot, and you'll be wandering lonely as a cloud in no time. And you don't even have to join us in person if you really don't want to. 
You can just watch the party from a nearby mountaintop and uh, cheer us on. What a call out. But at least head down and take a look first. It's right by the inn, and there's plenty of fun activities to get involved with. It can't hurt to take a quick walk and check things out. Besides, with the renowned traveler here, what is there to fear? Join us! It'll be fun. This is uh, finally what I'm talking about. I'll consider it. Silly adeptus. <laughs> it's nearly time. Why don't you all head to the venue and take a look around? Quite a few of your friends should have arrived by now. Yes, that's right. Venti and I still need to discuss the poem for the opening ceremony. So, uh, we'll catch up with you later. Us, our adeptus friend might need a bit more convincing. We'll see if we can coax him down. Gotcha! We'll be on our way then! I, I took a little detour. I took a little detour. Whoa! Waterborne poetry. Go to the stone gate. Okay. You say so. Where's that on the map? What the f- <sighs> Alright, I guess we're gonna take a break from getting revenge on child and just go here. Oh, it's nice. And a lot of them are familiar faces. Let's go say hi. Ooh, that's nice. Especially as someone that didn't pull any characters. Like, didn't pull that many characters from the gacha. Jin, Xin Chui, and Chong Yun. Is that how you say it? Hmm? Wow, look who's here. This poetry fest seems to have attracted talent of the highest caliber. I was actually heading into the mountains to train, but he accosted me on the way and dragged me here. Ah, oh, Chong Yun. Frozen Ardor. However, he was one problem that no amount of work can solve, and that is the pure Yang spirit he was born with. This pure Yang spirit is capable of repelling demons to the point where Chong Yun has never had to lift a finger to stop them. As a result, he has almost never seen a demon in his life. This troubles Chong Yun greatly, of course. Because seriously, what exorcist has never encountered a demon to exorcise before? Oh, how your words wound me. Is it not the responsibility of an exorcist of Liyue to ensure that this celebration of friendship between our two nations stays free of evil spirits? Besides, this is an excellent opportunity to meet heroes who have come from far and wide. Surely. You must be curious as to how that heroine of Mondstadt was able to lift such heavy objects like they were but a feather. Are you talking about Noelle? Yeah, she's super strong. Oh, the maid. Oh. Well, since you are so well acquainted, could we trouble you to introduce us later? Okay, fine. But don't forget to help me with my investigation like you promised. That's the only reason I agreed to come at all. Huh? What investigation? <clears throat> Naturally. I could never forget such a thing. My word is my bond. Relax, dear Paimon. All will be revealed in time. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Talk to everyone. Hey, oh, Diona. Diona. Traveler and Oh, Diona. Uh, Diona. Cat's... Cat's lean cocktail. Her excellent bartending skills and her cat's ears and tail that run in her family are a big hit with the hunters, making the cat's tail extremely popular. However, please ca take care not to touch Diona's ears or tail when ordering at the bar. If you cross her, the consequences will be dire. Are you here to mix drinks? That's right. I was specially asked to attend this event on behalf of the cat's tail. And I'm also here as a mixologist representing the Mondstadt wine industry. You're representing Mondstadt's wine industry? Oh, you must be hating every minute of it. Of course I hate it. But it's also a perfect chance to destroy the reputation of Mondstadt's wine business once and for all. Opportunities like this don't come around every day, you know. Huh? How do you figure that? <laughs> All I need to do is add some gross ingredients to the drinks, and I can create the most disgusting concoctions imaginable. <laughs> Nobody will ever buy wine from Mondstadt again. <laughs> uh, Paimon thinks he'll end up getting the opportunity.
opposite result. Hm, just you wait. I ain't about to mess this up. Don't overwork yourself. Are you gonna write some poetry with us too? Poetry? Hmm. I've heard plenty of bards sing in the tavern before, but I've never tried writing any myself. You should join in. It'll be fun. Fine. If I have time. Oh, okay. Let's see. Noel and Nika. Nika, Noel. Oh, it's the traveler in Paimon. Mika, coordinates of clear frost. Mika takes on responsibilities including mapping the terrain, setting up tents, starting fires for cooking, etc. That's what Mika does. In addition to his surveyor duties, he also helps out with logistics. Do not underestimate these tasks. Without sufficient logistic support, the entire company would not be able to function properly. As the helper behind the scenes who constantly watches everyone's back, Mika is undoubtedly a pillar of the team. Are you here for the neighboring nation's congenial poetry gala as well? Noel, chivalric blossom. Noel rejoiced when she was given a responsibility to be seen as a big help in a difficult situation. To be able to help people in trouble, to lend others her strength, this, in her mind, is in line with the principles of chivalry. Indeed, Noel dreamed of becoming a full knight. In order to realize this dream, she has been working hard. <laughs> you said that with a straight face. Is Paimon the only one who thinks it sounds weird? Are you here as Mondstadt's representatives? Re representatives? Uh, no. Nothing fancy like that. We were sent here by the Knights of Favonius to help maintain order and set up the venue. But I didn't really do anything useful so far. Noelle brought all these tables and chairs here from Mondstadt by herself. She's a true knight. She's strong. No, that's just not true. Your efforts were indispensable. You selected the venue, drew up the layout, and so on. Also, you're the true knight here. I'm still in training. If anything, I should be addressing you as sir. Get a room, you two. What? No, 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 no. Please don't. Just keep calling me Mika. Bro, just get a room, you two. Uh, why does it feel like these two could keep this up all day? Because they can, Paimon. Anyway, Master Jane did say that as long as we keep on top of our work, we should take a look around while we're here and get involved in the poetry gala as much as we can. But I haven't written much poetry before, so I'm not sure if I'll fit in. I actually have the same concern. The important thing is just to participate. Yeah, plus you won't be alone. We're joining too. The Traveler's a really good writer, you know. Not really. Really? <laughs> not really. In that case, we'll try our best oh. too. Perhaps the challenge of writing poetry is a rite of passage that all who wish to qualify as a knight must eventually face. No, no. I wouldn't go that far. But anyway, no backing out now. See you soon. Sure. Maybe you can teach me a thing or two. Oh, Mika beat me to it. I was going to ask for help too. We'll write together. All right. Take part in the opening event. All right. Cool. A sudden gust of wind forces everyone to briefly shut Poets, their eyes. Melodies wander in the wind, wafting to pastures beyond their home. Two greedy fishies struggling to swim. They eat so much that they're starting to grum. Animal crystal fly draped in gold robes, a bright little light from that blaze lantern glows. Finches pinch the rice and scoot while the boars of the forest anxiously root. Welcome one and all to this festival of poetry. Jointly organized by Lua and Mondstadt. Or, in full, the neighboring nation's congenial poetry gala. We're your hosts, Liyue's verse monger of the darkest alleys, Nutao. And Mondstadt's liquor-loving lyricist, Venti the Bard. Barbados. <coughs> the purpose of this event is to promote friendly poetic exchanges between our two nations. So please, have fun, talk to other people, and make some new friends. If you're here, you're our guest. So please enjoy this poetry fest. I'd also like to reassure everyone that this event welcomes people of all skill levels, from first-time rhymers to seasoned songwriters. If you ask me, the most important thing you can bring to writing poetry is authenticity. That means reaching deep down to all the thoughts and feelings you usually hide away or struggle to express and putting them into words. Just write from the heart in whatever form you like. To help everyone really cut loose and enjoy themselves to the fullest, 
Venti and I have carefully prepared a three themes to be revealed over the course of three days. Let's get right to it. The first theme is Riddle Me This. Solving riddles, huh? Interesting. It's actually a pretty good choice for a warm-up activity. Whew. I'm glad they're not making us write sonnets or something right at the start. Does everyone see the lanterns hanging around the venue? These have been specially prepared for the riddle game. Simply write down your riddle and hang it on a lantern. Then Venti and I will select a few to pose to the crowd, and you will try to solve them. We'll now give you some time to write down and hang up your riddles. Feel free to walk around and talk with the other contestants to get the creative juices flowing. And remember, whoever guesses the most riddles correctly will get a prize. And with that, the neighboring nation's congenial poetry gala has officially begun. All right, view the first poetry riddle. I just read that one, too. Liyue's poems seem pretty difficult to grasp. Dreams? Sky? Is it talking about some kind of bird? Um, so it means something like, uh, this thing's really far from home, it's in a vast area, and it's flying really high. Is that it? In a nutshell, yes. Oh, you're amazing, Paimon. Oh. It looks like I still have a lot of learning to do. Hi! Nothing really. Once you spend enough time in Leela, you just sort of pick up on these things. Oh, I know exactly what you mean. Back when I was out with the Grandmaster on the expedition, I started picking up some local customs without even realizing it. But back to the riddle. We still haven't actually solved it. What could it be talking about? Something that flies high and far. Hmm. Oh, that makes me think of dandelions. Oh, that makes sense. And Mondstatters believe that dandelions can carry your feelings on the wind. But maybe we're missing something? We well, can't be that easy. After all, it's a riddle from Liyue. What would their equivalent of the dandelion be? If there even is one, what do you think, Traveler? I think dandelion is the right answer. Great. Then we'll have one answer ready to go when the game begins. The important thing is that it's authentic. Right, just like Venti said. As long as the interpretation makes sense and reflects our perception of the poem, then perhaps there are no wrong answers. Well, no matter what the real answer is, the guessing's all a part of the fun! Let's go look at the next one! Oh yes, I want to see if there's any Mondstadt-style riddles. This is actually nice. It's pretty nice, pretty nice. Dang. Um, I have four corners like a square pancake, but I'm stuffed and seasoned and carefully baked. I pass through the lips one piece at a time. The more you consume, the broader your mind. Oh, wow, Paimon's drooling from that one. Is there really a food that can make you smarter? Paimon's gotta try that. That is adorable. <laughs> oh, Paimon, you have to look past the surface level meaning with riddles, or you'll fail to plumb their depths. Huh? So have you got any ideas, Shincho? <laughs> well... Singcho just hung that riddle up a moment ago. Oh, so this is Shincho's riddle! Oh, I completely forgot. You know, Paimon was expecting you to write something a little more... elegant. Dang! I forgot Shincho's... Uh, handwriting is garbage after doing Shincho's uh, story quest. This festival is about building friendship and mutual understanding. With so many friends from Mondstadt present, I thought I'd try writing something more accessible and less flowery, so that more people could enjoy it. Hey, not bad! Uh, so, buddy, does that mean you can tell your old pal Paimon the answer on the side? Or... That's cute. Not a chance. 
You'll have to wait for the answer to be revealed, just like everyone else. <gasps> Mimi! If that's how you feel, why don't you try and stump me with a riddle of your own? <laughs> Maybe Paimon will! We'll see who stumps who! Aw, oh, that's yeah, adorable. Will Paimon come up with a riddle, right? Gladly. <laughs> At least you're nice to Paimon! <laughs> then I look forward to seeing the fruits of your literary labors. Dang, Paimon, you got really competitive really fast. Uh, third one. Where is the third one? Uh, objective marker, where are you? Over there. Uh, even though Paimon said she'd write a riddle, Paimon really doesn't have any clue how. Huh. Let's start by reading a few more of other people's for inspiration. Um, on four long legs, my slim body sits. I eat not a bite and drink not a sip. With a passionless face, I greet countless guests, whom I carry all day without needing to rest. Uh, is this talking about some kind of animal? I literally thought of an animal statue. The answer must be some other kind of object. It's a chair. Dang. that the chairs get tired from working all the time so they shouldn't use them to sharpen their claws oh, there okay so a riddle needs to have a bait and switch are you trying to write one yep and thanks to you i'm on this side of one maybe i should try to come up with one too <laughs> all right Paimon's riddle is now hanging up diana do you want to know the answer no nah, no need I don't really care about winning a prize. Oh, okay then. Well, looks like it's time to carry on with the event. We should regroup with the others. Sure, pass on. Hmm. Hey, looks like everyone's about done mingling and riddling. Gather around and look this way. Menti and I have selected several riddles from everyone's contributions. And we added a few of our own to the mix for good measure. Shortly, we'll randomly select a few to read aloud. If your riddle gets selected, remember that you have to announce the correct answer at the end. Anyone who guesses correctly gets one point. And if nobody guesses correctly, the writer of the riddle gets a point. Sounds fair to me. <laughs> of course, when the riddler reveals the right response, it only counts if everyone agrees that it's not too far-fetched. That's right. Now, if there are no more questions, it's time to reveal the first riddle. Hopefully, they'll draw at least some that I can get. Oh no, does only the first person to solve it get the points? Ugh. That means I have to be first to raise my hand. Please choose Paimon's riddle. Please choose Paimon's riddle. Riddle number one. Let me see here. Ugh. This riddle is, uh, unique. Um, especially the handwriting. I have four, co four, four corners, like a square Dang. pancake, but I'm st stuffed and seasoned and carefully baked, baked, baked. I pass through the chips, lips, uh, one piece at a time, the more you uh, consume. Consume the broader your might. That is peak voice acting right there. <gasps> they drew Shinchos. Better answer as quickly as you can. You don't want someone else beating you to it. declare a this answer wrong. I mean, how does eating pizza broaden your mind? Flavor profiles, Hu Tao. Flavor profiles. And, while I'm no expert in exotic dishes, if I'm not mistaken, <clears throat> pizza is round, is it not? Like Mora meat? But, eating pizza makes you happy, and 
Being happy makes it easier to face problems that need solving. So Nice try, Paimon. Okay, Paimon admits you may have jumped the gun on this one. That's cute. Maybe it's some other kind of food. Oh, riddles are never that simple. And it needs to be something that makes people more intelligent. Oh, if Paimon had known it was gonna be this tab, she'd have read more books in her time. Paimon! Books! Huh? They're square and they've got lots of big words baked into them. Oh, gotcha! Books! The answer is books! Paimon, you joke. <laughs> that was quicker than I expected. I was quite proud of that one. That was really good. I'm not good with riddles, guys. Oh, it appears the riddle writer has announced the answer. Okay, one point to Paimon. Huh? So the answer was what? Oh, how did I not get that? Come on, Mika, concentrate. It was a hard one. <laughs> We're awesome at this. Uh, duh. Okay. Oh, uh, <clears throat> what Paima meant to say was that you're awesome at this. Thanks for the point, Traveler. On to riddle number two. I gotta get in there first this time. High above the wispy clouds, amidst the gloomy snow-filled shroud, standing alone on an icy stage, Beneath it, every lowly sage. <laughs> Looks like a poem from Leela. Oh, it's... I got it! Uh, oh, uh. oh, sheesh, come on! Uh, looks like those two have some ideas. Hmm. Could it be some kind of plant that lives in cold, high places? I bet. Mika, please go ahead. As a full knight of Avonius, you represent all of us from Mondstadt here. Uh, no, no, how could I? It was you who thought of it first. You should be the one to guess. Well, my answer isn't necessarily correct. Besides, it's first come, first serve, and you beat me to it. Oh, God. No, I didn't. You were just before me. Uh, how gracious and considerate our fellow competitors are towards each other. A wonderful sight to see. How about both of you say your answer at the same time? If you're both right, you'll each get a point. Oops, I didn't realize we'd made such a scene. Oh, crud. I guess we drag that out a bit. Um, so, Noel, uh, what do you say? They are freaking star-crossed lovers. Yes, let's. Our answer is... Cecilia. Cecilia! Oh, that certainly sounds like a good candidate for the correct answer. A flower that blooms on the highest peaks and known for its exquisite beauty. The Cecilia is held by many monsters to be the true wind bloom. Uh... Although, since the writer hasn't yet come forward to announce the answer, this probably wasn't the answer they were looking for. <laughs> Sorry. Any other answers? Oh, I can't believe I was wrong. Maybe it's a plant from Liyue. Is the answer Qingxin? The poem does evoke a strong sense of quiet, proud solitude in a high place. Correct. I wrote this one. Qingxin is the right answer. Before Paimon could. However, after listening to the host's description, I do remember reading about Cecilia flowers in a book once. They definitely fit the description of a pure flower standing proudly and alone on high. Why is her eyes glowing? So, I'd like to approve the answer from our two friends from Mondstadt as well. Her her eyes are glowing brighter than really? a lot of people I've seen Thank here. Thank you so much. Hmm. <laughs> Since even the Riddler themself agrees, all three contestants earn a point. Oh, that, that's cute. Marty, got up to prime on already. We're only just getting started. Yeah, you're probably right. Probably. Moving now to our third riddle. Huh? Why is the handwriting so floaty? What's got no wings but flies in the air never gets tired of floating up there. So full of mora, it comes out the nose, but in the sea, glug, 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 down it goes. That's Paimon's. That's like Paimon's riddle. Yeah. Uh, uh, huh. What is it? Why isn't anyone guessing? Is Paimon's riddle too hard? That's not quite it. More like, it's so ludicrously simple that we just cannot believe it. Bruh, I didn't, I didn't understand it. <laughs> Answer is Paimon. Uh, what? It's Paimon. It's Paimon. I was actually gonna say Paimon too. Me too. Uh, no, you're all completely wrong. <laughs> How the heck did 
Did you all think the answer was Paimon? Paimon, do you have wings behind your back? Uh, no. You're always floating, but you never seem to get tired of it. And Paimon has a very healthy appetite, which must cost the traveler a lot of mora and meal expenses. Dang! I've heard from the senior knights that the traveler rescued Paimon by fishing her out of the sea. So, that means Paimon can't swim. So if she fell in the sea, then... Think about it for a moment. Uh, no! You're all wrong. The answer to Paimon's fail is obviously the Jade Chamber! You know, the Jade Chamber that's always flying up there in the sky? That's actually what I thought of, too. I was like... Is that so? Hmm. I still maintain that the riddle actually describes Paimon more accurately. That's so funny how that worked out. That's so funny how it worked out. <laughs> Everyone's justifying. It's like it's like the thing that happened with the Uno company where it's like, yo, Uno company, you clearly don't know how to play your own game. And so people are telling them how to play their game that they made. It's so funny. That's, that's what I'm seeing here with Paimon. It's really funny. <laughs> In fact, if we just added two more lines to the poem, it would be the perfect riddle. What do you mean? Huh? What do you want to add? The Traveler's Companion and Talkative Guide. A praiseworthy presence always by their side. Xingqiu, <laughs> gotta hate you. Aww, do you mean it? Can we really add that part? Paimon's the best travel companion ever. I'm putting that on there. <laughs> so adorable. I love Paimon. She's so funny. Okay, then Paimon would like to announce that the correct answer to the riddle is the widely adored Paimon! Great! And with that, the widely adored Paimon has gifted a point each to everyone who answered just now. She just threw it out the window. She gave everyone a point but herself. That's so funny. <laughs> More riddles and giggles fill the air as the time flies by. <laughs> Guessing riddles is a lot of fun. And even though Paimon didn't manage to beat Shinko, Paimon still feels like she got a little smarter. Oh, uh, didn't Chongyu mention he was investigating something before? Let's go ask him about it! Alright. Alright. Let's go for it. I just walked four steps, guys. Hey, you two! Oh? Hi, Paimon. You know, for a moment there, I was worried I might lose to you. Oh, are you collecting your prize right now? I am indeed. Oh, if you really want it, I'd be more than happy to give it to you. Seriously? Wow, what is it? Um... A most generous donation by yours truly as director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Namely, a buy one, get one free coupon for our high-end customized service package. It's a pleasant surprise to learn. You're so interested in it, Paimon. <laughs> nope, nah, -uh, no thank you, hard pass, you can keep it. Are you sure? In that case... I'll gladly take it. Here you are. Now remember, this package comes with our anytime, anywhere, on-demand collection service. Just give us a call and we'll be right there. Uh, with any luck, <laughs> we'll still show up even if you're <clears throat> unable to call. So, to what do we owe the honor, Paimon? <laughs> what do you mean, we? Chanyun's the one Paimon's looking for, not you. Wasn't he saying something about needing help? Oh, yeah. Yeah. How about I put it in riddle form? Huh? Isn't the competition over? Twas like a demon not demonic, or devil devoid of the diabolic. Afar it floated free above the ground, but when approached, though sought, not could be found. Um, sounds to me like you encountered a ghastly little ghosty in the wild. Perhaps I should just explain it. Basically, while I was training this morning, I suddenly caught sight of a non-human entity. It was floating in the air without any kind of external aid, and its body was almost transparent. At first I thought I'd finally encountered a demon that wasn't repelled by my pure yang spirit, and immediately prepared to exercise it. But none of my methods had any effect on it. And when I went to try and get a closer look at it, and try to ascertain what I was dealing with, it disappeared into thin air. A mysterious Sealy? Hmm, you're sure it's not a ghost or of some kind? Quite sure. I could sense that it had a physical body, 
And if it were a spirit, I'm sure it would have been scared away long before I saw it. It's all my fault. I got overexcited, and in my haste, I didn't ascertain its true nature before taking action. Thinking back on it, if it wasn't an evil spirit, maybe I offended some kind of adeptus or illuminated beast. You shouldn't blame yourself. It was something you'd never seen before. Anyone else would have reacted the same way. Besides, we're making up for it now by doing our best to find out the truth. Any thoughts, Venti? Have you managed to untangle Chong Yun's twisted tail? If anyone can, it's the Wind Archon. Hmm. Why don't you take a guess first, Tu Tao? What the fudge, Venti? Oh, that means you have. <laughs> I can't be absolutely certain, but I'm reasonably sure it's not what Li Wei would call an evil spirit or demon. So whatever it is, it's not dangerous. Hmm. How about this? We can incorporate a search element into tomorrow's poetry activity. Venti, what? Ooh, does that mean we get to play outside while we write poetry? <laughs> Close, but no. Good ideas could just pop into your head out of thin air, but if you ask me, everyone should relax tonight and get a good rest before tomorrow. You say that, but your gaze keeps drifting over towards the wine stand. Dang. Venti loves to drink. Hey, cool. Oh! Whoa! 100 pace hurling rights? Team Z is busy near Wang Shu In. Oh! Oh, wow, there's more to it than that. That's interesting. Okay. Inspiration eruption. Talk to Bleeze? 100 place. Oh, okay. Okay, so there's like three quests that came from this. Cool. Wah. Tang Z! Hmm. Now it shouldn't be too difficult. What are you doing? I'm setting up the game I'm responsible for. Have you heard of a hundred pace hurling rights? You want me to conduct a bunch of rights to check things long distances? You are very perceptive and got it half right. The core game mechanics do revolve around throwing, but that's not what rights means here. I learned about this game from an ancient book. Let me briefly walk you through it. The traditional rules dictate that all participants in this game must be sitting down as part of the rights. Well, you must also adopt a special sitting posture, which I will not demonstrate for you at this time, since I don't have any cushions here. From their sitting positions, the participants must follow the music's rhythm and throw the darts into the distant pots. There are many ways to throw the darts into the pots, each with their own special names. For example, the first dart to land in the pot is called the first. If the subsequent dart also lands in the vessel, it's called a streak. If the dart hits the handles of the pot, it's called piercing. If a dart is thrown through the neck before bouncing out of the pot, it's called Valiant. Th that's way too complicated. It's complicated, blah. Don't worry, I just told you these are the traditional rules, but I have simplified them for everyone's convenience. <clears throat> anyway, all you need to know is that the goal is to throw as many darts into the pots as you can before time runs out. I'll take care of the rest. That sure is simplified, all right. I mean... The rule book does say that whoever tosses the most darts into the pot wins. As for the rules that require the loser to drink and write a poem, I can't really ask every player who loses to do all that now, can I? Anyways, it's almost done setting up the game. The holding pots are over there. I'll get you the darts momentarily. You can try it now if you're interested. In 100 page hurling rights, players can throw darts. Hitting any spot on the holding pots with darts will award points. Holding the throw button will allow you to aim. Release to, throw, release to throw the dart. Hit as many holding pots as you can within the time limit to score points. The challenge will end once time is up or there are no more pots left on the field. Okay. Where do I go? Do I do it here? I want to play. I want to play the... Oh, I have to talk to Tang Ji again. You want to try playing 100 pace rolling rights? Sure. Here are your darts and the pots are over there. There's a common chest. Ooh, whoa, there's more. There's multiple. Deploying pots. What is this? This is an ordinary holding pot created by the organizer, which will award 25 points when hit. 
Slate pots are special holding pots created by the organizer that will award 25 points when hit. For a short time after, you can fire off multiple darts consecutively by holding the throw button. The Ring of Rights is a special item created by the organizer. If thrown, darts pass through the ring to hit a holding pot. The score gained will be doubled. The ring will disappear after appearing for a while. How do I... What's the throw button? Oh, right trigger. Oh my gosh, I was like, what is it? It's the right trigger, apparently. Oh no. Wait, I thought those were the slate pots. Oh, that's the th slate pots. Not bad. All right, I think I can. <gasps> Why not? Agile pots. What's this? Quicker pots are special holding pots created by the organizer that will award 20 points when hit. These pots will explode when hit, destroying all holding pots in a fixed area. Pots shattered by this will also count towards your score. Agile pots are special holding pots created by the organizer that will move between two points and award 60 points when hit. The beam of blocking will obstruct thrown darts. Hit it a certain number of times to destroy it. Uh. Oh. Oh. Oh! Oh! I need to pee. Okay. Oh, wait. Hold on. Can I... Huh? No! I want to blow it up. Huh? Oh, I need to just... Wait, hold on. Okay. Eh. There we go. Okay, and then... Okay, get over here. I... Okay, nice. Not bad. Okay, let's do that. Let's wait. Hold on. Okay. Let's do. Okay. Ah. Hey, not bad. Whoa, 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 wait. Oh no. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Ah, wait, hold on. Okay, there we go. Oh, I, I didn't hit it. Hold on. Wait. Okay, there we go. Alright, and then... There we go. And then... Hit you! And then... There. And then... Hit that one. Okay. Can I hit? Yeah, I can. There we go. And then there. There. And then there. Nice! Challenge completed, baby! 1505. Not bad. Uh, oh. Unlocks in 10 hours. Oh! Okay, okay. Alright, so not everything's available, but I, I did some of it. That's not bad. Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure I wonder. Oh, I like that. It's so cute. Um, Tableside Entertainment Poetry Gala. Poetry Gala Fervor? What's that? What's that? Uh, Ballad of the Boundless Blue. Oh. Poetry Gala. Oh! Congenial Gathering. You take an inspiration walk while enjoying the scenery as you share your poetry with each other. There seems to be a faint sense of sorrow amidst the joyful laughter. Um, oh, I got that. Oh, oh, wait. This unlocks in 10 hours. Tears Among the Leaves, Waterborne Poetry Part 2. Oh, like site, table site entertainment. View game. Uh, oh. 
Okay. Give me all of that. Heck yeah. That's a really nice event. It's nice. I like it. Getting all of that. Nice. I'm getting a lot of materials, too. Let's paint that. Uh, oh, what's this? Inspiration Eruption? Mending Painting Prospects? Oh, that's cool. Um, so, I think... Alright, I'll be right back. Hold on. I've got a pee. I've got a pee. I've got a really pee. Ah. Boo! Alright, alright, so I'm already reaching the hour mark for this recorded video, so I think I'll push it and just do one more of the quests here, because uh, I want to do this waterborne thing, which is really nice. Um, let's go to Mending Painting Prospects, which is right here, Balto. The next painting is, right, it's this one. What are you doing? You are Godfred. Your reputation precedes you. I heard so much about you from my colleagues and was wondering if you would grace this grand event. And as luck would have it, here you are. It is truly an honor to meet you. There are many things I wish to introduce to you, but before that, allow me to introduce myself. I am Balto, a painter. You should be quite familiar with this profession, no? But in addition to being a painter myself, I am also an art conservator. No matter what type of damage a painting has suffered, whether it was burnt, chewed on by rodents, rotted by mold, or any similar matter, as long as it is in my hands, I can restore the painting to its original, most perfect state. Restoring paintings, do you just repaint them? <laughs> of course not. Were I to just repaint them exactly as they were, that would be called copying. What we art conservators must do is restore a piece of artwork to its most original pristine condition. Every detail, from the colors to the brush strokes, even the material of the canvas itself must be exactly the same as the original painting. That sounds amazing. Isn't it? It takes exceptional painting skill as well as uncommonly keen and detailed image perception, which is why I simply haven't been able to hire many capable assistants. I mean, if a painter has both exceptional skills and a keen perception of the smallest details, then why not just focus on their own work instead of helping restore that of other artists? Not to mention how this job doesn't pay well, and how people often think of us as a bunch of copycats with mediocre skills. But every job needs to be done by someone, wouldn't you agree? Art is a precious thing. An outstanding painting can carry history, stories, and emotions. And of course, it's market value. No matter what others think, as an artist myself, I will not stand idly by and watch those paintings deteriorate. 
But, as I just said, this job doesn't pay well and is often misunderstood. Though I've been busy trying to recruit assistants, as you can see, as of now, I'm still the only one doing the job. And that's why I'm here today. I want to educate people about what an art conservator does, and perhaps I'll be able to recruit a few more people this way. However, though I've yet to find an assistant, I have received numerous commissions to restore ancient paintings. These old paintings come from Mondstadt and Liyue. They include landscapes, figures, animals, and even crayon drawings from children. You restore crayon drawings too? Uh. In principle, as long as it's a painting, it's a valid commission. Besides, even a child's crayon drawing contains the hard work they poured into it. Who is to say it may not be their first step to becoming an artist one day? So, it's understandable that their parents would come to me for to restore it. Your expression says you haven't even managed to convince yourself. <laughs> what? No, not at all. I am absolutely not exasperated by these sorts of requests. I just have to study crayon drawings a bit. Godfrey, if you could, would you be willing to do me a favor? As you can see, I'm the only one here. But to restore painting, I need to go out and find the relevant scenery painted therein. You need to go out and find the original scenery? Alas, indeed! Not only that, I also have to do all kinds of research on materials relevant to the painting. For example, how the scenery and animals depicted look like at the time they were painted. Fortunately, the paintings I'm currently commissioned to restore aren't too old, so things shouldn't have changed drastically. I was able to head out to study the original locations, but as you know, the wilderness is a dangerous place for those more adept with the brush than the sword. That's why I'd like to ask you to find the relevant scenery for me. I'm not artistically gifted. No worries! I have already prepared everything that you'll need. I've done this before when hiring others to help me in the past. Look, this is a photo of the painting to be restored, and I have already marked the key landmarks in it. All you need to do is to find the location and take photos of the marked objects with this camera, and you're done. So, I just need to take photos? That's right, but you ought to familiarize yourself with the paintings before taking the picture. You need to feel their aesthetics and artistic sense. Let the paintings linger in your mind. As long as you understand them, perhaps you'll be able to sense the entire process of how these paintings were done while taking photos. Sketching, outlining, coloring, refining the details. You mean like a hallucination? You are correct. To me, art is a type of hallucination. What an artist must do is capture the hallucination in detail and express it objectively. Believe me, just study the photos I give you, and you will surely feel the artistic hallucinations within. I entrust this task to you, Godfred. And I shall start restoring these paintings. Right, the next one is... Once you reach a viewing point, you must select one of three pictures that best corresponds to the current viewing point and start looking for the missing scenery object. Uh, excuse me. The... After selecting the picture, you can move your camera to match the picture with the current scenery and look for any missing scenery objects. Once you have found said objects, you can record them. Each picture will have two to three missing scenery objects. When attempting to record them, you may have to adjust your viewing angle multiple times. Once all the objects have been recorded, the current picture will have its missing details completely filled in. Oh wow, that's, a, that's, quite, a, that's, a, that's quite a bit. All right, all right. I thought I would do this quest, but I did a lot of narrating and talking, so. Got two sick flowers. Silk, sick flowers. Silk flowers. All right, so. Yeah, that, I'm, I'm done. I'm done for today. Besides, I'm supposed to hang out with Jay Kari and my other best friend. Like, now. Anyway. <laughs> so, guys, thank you so much for joining me in another part of Genshin Impact, despite my MSI fans screaming wildly. <laughs> anyway. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace.